Yo, what's going on guys? It's your voice testing. There's a video here today bringing us a brand new one man banner design series where I take a really cool fun design aesthetic and uh, we just be, well, you'll be able to make it by like a minute in like the actual end of the video. The video's not gonna be a minute, but the point is you can do the actual thing in the video in a minute when you learn how to do it. You guys get it? So stop with the comments, yeah? But uh, yeah, so if you guys have no idea what this style is, it's just really cool sort of like really fun grunge tear effect that we actually used for 100 Thieves back in 2018, 2019 that I adopted from Alpaca when he used to design for us for 100 Thieves, no longer does, but but hey, you, it, the, I feel like I'm looking at it, I'm just like, the design actually is super, super clean. It's kind of endless, and I wanted to go ahead and give a little bit of highlight to Alpaca as well. And uh, yeah, just like give it a little bit of love and show you guys how, we actually, uh, how you can actually do it right here, right now, and how you can apply it to more than just your header design. You can apply it to like posters, um, like any like advertisement stuff, and it's a really cool just sort of thing that actually graphs can do. So with that being said, if you guys like the video, be sure to leave a like on the video. And if you guys are new to the video, you guys never watched me before, maybe you want to subscribe, check my other videos, all that cool stuff. But yeah. Let's get this going. All right, guys. So let's go get this going right here, right now. So really quickly, this is basically like a cool four panel kind of design kind of scheme going on here. So when you guys are looking at this, just know that there's basically four different sections where you can, of course, customize add if you want to even put yourself in the actual header you can definitely do that as well but realistically you know there's basically four panels where i have one holding my logo right here i have one right here as well holding another the same the same picture actually um that's in the background as well which is another panel right and then one right here as well so there's basically four different little panels you can say that you can each customize each different pictures in them um different designs and different colors in them so don't just kind of say like hey you don't you don't gotta look at it as like point blank and, and as, as straight as this is it is super easy, but just know that there's very easy ways to actually customize and make it more yours. Like I said, putting your player or, or putting yourself in there or whatever, right? Or expanding the canvas size to be 921 by 1080, making cool advertising. But regardless, so what I have here is just three different things I'm, I'm going to be using in today's video, right? I have the nice little tear effect here. I'll give you guys these also tears in the actual description down below um, for you guys to, of course, use as well if you guys don't have any tears as well. But regardless, right? Then I also have a picture of a video game um, of my choice. I use Warzone, just a nice little Warzone promo image. So. To get this baby started, I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure this tear right here is basically kind of covering my bottom left. Now, be careful a few things, right? You see how this is basically like, you know, a cut off edge. Let's make sure, right, that that edge is not being seen. So you've gotta rotate it, rotate it, right? And then kind of fix it over here, right? So say right about there is a pretty solid, I think approach right there. I think that's a pretty solid spot right there. Let's actually see, I would say there. You know, or like there okay i can do this forever but right here is pretty good right i want to make sure that's completely covered now i want to make sure i kind of have this one over here up top right make it a little more bigger right perfect now let's go ahead and work with the actual background actually make it look a little bit more cooler and just like more dark and blah 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 but of course you can of course make your background whatever color you guys want to but uh I'm gonna show you guys how I do mine, right? So what I'm gonna do is actually gonna make this background color, right? That's currently white by making it black. By just pressing Control U, taking the lightness and lower it all the way down to 100%. So my background is actually black and not white this time, right? Now with this background, I'm gonna press Control J on my keyboard to make a duplicate of this background. Now this background duplicate, I'm gonna go to Filter, Noise, Add Noise. And I'm gonna add myself a good, I would say 13% to keep it nice and even on those numbers and Gaussian, um, actually 14, oh God, just okay, okay, OCD, sorry. 14 and then Gaussian on your uh, distribution, right? So you wanna press okay. Now this is gonna come in handy afterwards, but what we wanna do now is we wanna make sure this background is set for us in two different or three different panels now. So this background is for, or this game picture is for this background, right? We'll also make a duplicate by holding Alt, clicking on it and dragging it right above our first paper. Right, then I'm gonna make sure I right click and or, you know, right click, click mask, or hold alt, click in between the layers, and it'll click mask that as well. So you can see if I move this, this is also on the picture inside here as well, but realistically it all looks like one solid picture because we're just, we just kind of duplicated it just simply, right? So the same thing over here for this paper, move it up, boom, and uh, so how do you say, clip mask it. So now all these are different clip masks. So if you want to, you, you can say like, hey, in this clip mask here, I want the buildings to show again, right? Cause like, they're not really showing. So I can move that over here. Then I can say, hey, I want the actual people down here to be more the focus down on this panel. Let's move it around a little bit more too. But realistically, we're still, it's almost like scrap art in a way, but it looks pretty good still so far. So I'm gonna say, hey, good. Let's go ahead and move forward. So what I'm gonna do now is with this background here, I'm gonna go ahead and just put on a nice gradient mask or gradient map, excuse me. And on this gradient map, I'm gonna go ahead and use a simple, simple, how do you say, black to white, right? The midpoint is basically right in the middle. If you wanna move it towards the right-hand side more to make it even more darker, you can do that. Um, also, <clears throat> excuse me, also you can also click on this one, on the white one, right? And drag it down a little bit if you guys wish to as well to make it more, how do you say, darker in this case. Now I'm gonna say, 
that looks pretty good. We're gonna press OK and press OK again. And I'll say that that's pretty solid to kind of have it on a nice dark background. And now that we have that set for us, we're gonna actually focus on this bottom panel here. And on this one, we're gonna use adjustments over here. We're gonna use gradient map once again. Clip map this gradient map to this right here as well. So for this panel, I want this to be more of like a lighter dark black and white kind of scheme here. You said this is more darker. That way I'm basically not switching this, right? We're keeping this comp to be completely white and not moving it down, right? But if you want to, you can do so. You can also move it to a red if you want to, etc. right? Right, just kind of keep it basic and easy for you guys. But for this, I'm gonna say perfect. That's exactly how I wanna have it. But I'm also gonna make another uh, uh, gradient map copy, right click, and I'm gonna do create clip mask one more time. But this clip mask here, right, this gradient map, I'm gonna use this yellow. So what I have here is a black midpoint. Let's put that on black, right? Then I have this second midpoint being right here, the second node being sort of like 25% of the way here, right? Just like so, as a nice color yellow. If you wanna choose a different color, you definitely can. Um, if you wanna do another simple little yellow node, you can do the same exact thing on the far right hand side. If you don't have it, you basically just get less yellow, right? And just less of a intensified yellow. So that's why I actually added another node there. But when you press okay, you wanna basically double click on this little layer mask right here. When you guys double click on this, it brings up the properties table. And with the properties table, there are actually three, di three different options. We select the mask, color range, and in you basically want to click on the one that says color range just like so and basically I already have a nice color color selected but what you would want to do is it's gonna take a little bit of time to get the perfect one but you basically click on every single different value right of yellow in this actual picture you can see you get some really cool more like subtle yellows that was a really good one I wish I can go back uh, come on give me it please Boom, I got it. Look how nice and pretty and subtle that yellow kind of like little stripe is around these different objects. But of course, you can take up the featherness or the fuzziness, excuse me. If you bring this up, it also intensifies the actual color while also intensifying the actual spread of the color range itself. So, right, it looks pretty good. Just like right around there, I'm gonna say W, we're gonna leave it right there and I'm gonna press OK. Now I'm gonna do the same exact thing with this one up here. So same exact thing. So we're gonna use actually the same exact gradients actually. I can just take the same two, uh, same two gradients click on control, click where right, click on one, click control, right? And click on the other one that'll click on both of them. Then I can hold alt, drag it right above. And I'll say, Hey, you know, we're going to just, uh, how do you say clip mask that clip mask this one. And I'm gonna quick fill in a white, right? With alt backspace to re basically kind of like fill this back in. You see how it's black, basically white fills it in. So if you have to, even if I take a brush and just fill it in with white, it'll basically re put it inside. Now it's pretty good. Now that I have this one here, I'm actually gonna put the same exact paper, duplicate, right? Right, I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger, and this will be our nice little sort of break between the contrast that's happening here. I'm also gonna take my logo and put it in here as well. I can put the logo right here, now it looks pretty good there. I'm also gonna put in my little name in this case. I'm gonna put minute though, just whatever, right? Just because that's the actual name of the series. So I'm gonna put the word minute. Then I can even go ahead and just make a nice little simple subtext here saying banner tutorial. Just like this, we're gonna put this on six. I can even change the font around a little bit, you know? Give a nice little simple, kind of like very subtle text here, banner tutorial. That looks pretty good. I'll make this yellow, right? It's kind of like work with the color, kind of kind of that color contrast as well. I'll go down here and put a little bit of, little, little bit of brackets in there or whatever the heck you guys call these things, slashes, right? Right, to add a little more kind of like funness to it. Now with this background here, if you guys want to keep it like this, this is pretty cool. But what I ended up doing for myself and why we did that first little noise in that first uh, background copy is I want to go to this picture right here, right? I'm going to make a duplicate of this one. This one's the background picture, by the way. Now with this, I'm going to go to where it says filter and I'm going to go to where it says, nope, I'm going to image adjustments and then uh, how do you say, it? where is it at threshold? Now a threshold here, it's basically like a very bare bones idea of like values and lights. So if you move this around, you get more basically like kind of shadows, you move this towards the left, you get more um, like highlight, right? So for me, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna find a really good midpoint where you can still see the players, see the background, but it's nice and kind of like cartoony, almost like 2D flat, press okay, right? Then what I'll do here is I'll go back to this gradient map. Now I'm gonna have to go back into here and make sure that this gray value is a lot more darker, right? That looks pretty good. Just like so, you can still kind of see if you want to, if you want to pull it up a little more. You definitely can. It depends on your monitor settings, by the way, if you can see what I'm doing right now. But press OK, press OK again. And now on this picture here, I'm going to use a layer mask. Now I'm going to give you guys this brush as well because it's just whatever. It's just basically like a nice uh, uh, hair brush. Actually, it's exactly what it is. But the brush itself also works pretty good. If I want to erase, so I'm going to put it on black, right? So black will erase on this white, um, this new layer mask you just made. I can just go into it and say, hey. I'm gonna erase it a little bit just to kind of have 
it looked pretty cool but the background here should be that uh that noise background i don't know why that noise background disappeared but it should definitely be noisy right now boom i had to turn it up just a little bit so now if i kind of erase around you can get this pretty cool look which is kind of like iffy if you guys want to do it or not it looked pretty good for me just like erasing a little bit right just to add a little more kind of like sketchiness and fun like you know again more of like a scrapbook feel to it lower this down just a little bit on the actual picture itself right i think it looks pretty solid now again it doesn't have to be what you do but if you guys see on my original here is basically what i did right here i added a lot more noise for me personally but Regardless, it still looks pretty cool if you guys want to do that too. Um, if you guys saw that before, by the way, the noise background was there, but I had to turn it up a little bit more so that the actual gradient map can actually pick it up. So now that I have that done there, we can add a little bit of, how you say, sigh, a little text here as well. Let's say, yo, you know, shout out Alpaca, the homie. I'm going to put that again, Alpaca, right? You can do that something like right there. Do a little something like, just put that, you know, we can do that right there on the corner. Right, then we can go ahead and say, yo, we'll put some slashes back in. That was a signature, so that's why I'm doing it. Right, there we go. I didn't do that right. It's fine. We'll just leave it like that. Why not? White. You can put a little, <clears throat> little, I guess, a little side text there. If you want to even slant this now, I could. Perfect. And I got a little bit of something, something going on there. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much it. This is pretty much what I ended up doing back when I was start first doing 100 Thieves stuff. Was like basically working with these really cool tears. And just using, of course, not yellow, but red. I used yellow, by the way, because it was like a nice little tribute to uh, the championship graphics, where this is basically kind of like first really, really showcasing the biggest highlight. But a little nostalgia for me, but also at the same time, a really cool design that you guys can take, elevate, and have fun with, and really, really enjoy. So, with that being said, if you guys leave a like on today's video, if you guys did enjoy it, like I said in the beginning of the video, if you guys already did it, W. Also, comment out any cool little things you want to see me do in 2021. Uh, my last video for 2020 should be like... It's gonna be it's gonna be perfect. I just I just need a little more time on it. But uh yeah, with that being said, if you guys are new to the videos, of course subscribe if you guys haven't already. And uh now I'm done, finished Finuto. Talk to you guys later. So HQ out. You have to get to keep smiling, stay positive, and stay freaking better, guys. Later. Much love, peace, and hurry week.